Netflix reported that its slightly over-forecasted paid net ads in Q4, and Q1 2022 lost 200k subscribers. The company's stock price fell collectively $233.17 or over 56%, to close at $226.19 per share. Investors, did you purchase or otherwise acquired Netflix common stock or call options, or sold put options, between October 19, 2021 and April 19, 2022? You may be entitled to recover your losses. How? By clicking the link below to join the class action lawsuit that has been filed in the Northern District of California. The lawsuit seeks to recover shareholders' losses with no out-of-pocket cost to you. Eligible investors purchased or otherwise acquired Netflix common stock or call options or sold put options between October 19, 2021 and April 19, 2022. The class action alleges that. 1. Netflix was exhibiting slower acquisition growth due to, among other things, account sharing by customers and increased competition from other streaming services. 2. The company was experiencing difficulties retaining customers. 3. As a result of the foregoing, the company was losing subscribers on a net basis. 4. As a result, the company's financial results were being adversely affected. 5. As a result of the foregoing, defendants' positive statements about the company's business, operations, and prospects were materially false and or misleading and or lacked a reasonable basis. How do I participate? If you suffered losses on your Netflix shares, you only have until July 5, 2022 to request that the court appoint you as a lead plaintiff. Acting as a lead plaintiff is not a requirement to participate in monetary recovery, but you must meet the deadline to be considered as a lead plaintiff. To join, click the link below. For over 20 years, Levy and Korsinski have recovered hundreds of millions of dollars for shareholders. We look forward to hearing from you. Prior results do not guarantee similar outcomes, and this video may be considered attorney advertising under the laws of your state. Click subscribe and never miss another investor securities notice.